These are the Franklins. Anton has the same hair color as his father, but his eyes he got from his mother. Why is that? The human body consists of trillions of tiny cells. These cells can be very different from one to another, but there is one thing they all share. Their core contains our genome. The genome includes all inheritable traits of a living being. Those can be things like predispositions for diseases and allergies, but also all sorts of physical characteristics, such as hair and eye color. Carrying this information is deoxyribonucleic acid. Since that word is a real tongue twister, it is usually abbreviated to DNA. DNA looks a bit like a twisted rope ladder. It consists of many molecules that are strung together. These are the nucleotides. They consist of three parts, a phosphate group, a sugar, and one of four bases, guanine, adenine, cytosine, and thymine. Single nucleotides are connected to each other in the middle. Adenine can only connect to thymine and guanine only to cytosine. The exact order of these bonds forms the code that stores the genetic information. A section of DNA that contains such information is called a gene. Humans have over 20,000 genes. In the nucleus, DNA is packed tightly into 23 pairs of chromosomes. The first 22 pairs are always doubled. Now, if we would search through Anton's chromosomes, looking for the gene responsible for his hair color, we would find two variants of the same gene, one from his father and one from his mother. The very last pair of chromosomes is a special case. It is responsible for the biological sex and not always duplicated. Two X chromosomes stand for female and one X and one Y chromosome for male. The cells that are responsible for reproduction, sperms and egg cells, only have half of the total chromosomes. During fertilization, these chromosomes get combined and create the genetic code for the child. We've primarily talked about the genetics of humans so far, but all living things have DNA. Charlie, the Franklin's dog, does too. He doesn't only have 23 pairs of chromosomes though, but instead a whopping 39.